When women come to us, they have nothing. Again, my name is Claire Marseille with the New Way of Life Preemption Project. Go ahead. Did you know that since the 1980s, the rate of incarceration for women has increased over 800%? And every year, 4,000 women are released to communities in, in Los Angeles County. And when those women come to our communities, they, again, have nothing. And they have difficulty finding jobs. They have difficulty finding shelter. They have difficulty getting education. And what we do is we provide the foundation for these women to transform their own lives. A New Way of Life Reentry Project was founded in 1998 by Susan Berger. And it all started when Susan's five-year-old son, KK, was tragically killed in an accident. Susan numbed her grief by sinking in an abyss of substance abuse that resulted in two decades of incarceration. In 1997, she got help, and she stepped into a new way of life. And since then, it's been her mission to help other women like herself by giving them safety, support, and a second chance. And Susan has received numerous awards for her work. She was a top 10 CNN hero in 2010. In 2012, she received an Encore Purpose Prize. And in 2013, the whole organization was honored with the Ford Freedom Ensemble Award. The mission of the New Way of Life Reentry Project is to help women and girls break the cycle of entrapment in the criminal justice system and lead healthy and satisfying lives. And these are our goals. And the most important is that we offer education, job training, and skill building opportunities to lead women towards self-sufficiency. This year is our 15th anniversary. And in those 15 years, we have served over 650 women and their children in our reentry homes. And tonight I want to introduce you to one of those women. She was a former resident, and now she's the current board member of A New Way of Life. Tiffany Johnson. Hi. I am one of those women who was a big woman and had nothing. You know, I came back into the world after 16 years, and I was literally dumbfounded on how much it had changed. A new way of life, they helped me get my driver's license, my social security card, taught me how to use a little debit card in the shopping centers, you know, and just gave me the basic guidelines on how to use the internet. A new way of life has embraced me with unconditional love. You know, formerly incarcerated women face a huge barrier when coming home. Just trying to get a job. You know, you fill out the application and there's this box. And once that box is checked, you can almost guarantee that your application is thrown in garbage. You didn't get nowhere. But a new way of life helped my employers see what I can do instead of my history. Now I have a job. I just got a promotion. Yeah. I have an apartment. I have my own vehicle. And there are 650 women just like me who have started this way of life. Ms. Burton always tells me, if you can see it, you can believe it. And if you can believe it, you can achieve it. So, with your help, you can help other women achieve a new way of life. There are a thousand more than we are help. Thank you. One, two, three, four, thank you.